and I guess, and this, I'm, I'm going to segue away from that towards just a broader theme of utopia and hope and, and this idea of um, the boring disenchanted world, but we can might maybe look forward to something better. And various sociologies, sociologists and anthropologists have have built that into their systems. And obviously the, the probably the most famous is Marx. Uh, and we haven't really talked about Marx very much. We've, we've touched on him with his class system and stuff. But I think um, it'd be quite interesting to get your take on Marx because I know Gellner had a very distinctive view um, and he was writing mainly in response to the Cold War but, and, in, and his own personal um, you know, Prague-based uh, experiences uh, and life. Um, how how should we actually look at Marx and his contribution to both as a sociologist, but also as a, as a great utopian? How and 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 also as part of the story of modernity? Um, where how how would you um, um, rate him as a, as somebody that's got important things to say about who we are and where we're going? Well, the, the difficulty of having this very long conversation is I can't remember what I've said before uh, in uh, much earlier bits of the conversation. So I may go over some, some of it. We, yeah, we, we talked a bit about Marx, uh, but um, I would like to set it in a slightly larger frame, which is the problem of the later 19th century in Europe. Uh, here you have a part of the world which has traditionally been um, mainly agricultural, um, mainly Catholic, um, a strongish family system, and quite strong, mod moderately strong states, but without nations. Suddenly it's hit by the Industrial Revolution and urbanism, um, and everything dis disintegrates. Um, the French Revolution has also uh, undermined the authority of the state. So you have a world which is flying apart with gross inequalities and so on, which is, I think, we talked about mm -hmm. Marx. And the traditional foundations of, of what our world is based on in the West are lost. It's, it's not dissimilar to what's happening at the, at the moment. And the, the great visionary founders of the uh, sociological tradition, at least, and um, modern anthropology and sociology are basically responding to this problem as the Enlightenment was to another problem. So what do you do if the family is no longer strong and, and providing you uh, with your integration. If religion is challenged and Darwin has come along and no one uh, accepts automatically the Catholic Church. Um, if the class system is in upheaval because the traditional rural uh, rulers are being threatened by the new moneyed businessmen and so on. Um, and the state is being challenged. How do you hold society together and, and where should it go in the future? Now, Marx, Durkheim and Weber, the sort of three founding figures of modern sociology, were trying to answer those questions. What, what can we do? And I'll take them one by one. 